Star Citizen vs. Starfield, the showdown of two of the biggest space game juggernauts around. And while it's hard to take this topic too seriously, since both games take a very different approach to space adventure, one is a completed game while the other one is still in alpha, I still think it's a really fun idea. So today we're going to compare each aspect of these mega games to one another and see how they stack up. Starting with my favorite category, the spaceships. Both Starfield and Star Citizen boast incredibly cool and interesting spaceships, where Star Citizens are all custom designed from the ground up, and Starfield builds theirs with a Lego-like custom ship builder that is powerful enough to create some extremely impressive variety. From the exterior perspective, it's hard not to enjoy the additional variety that Star Citizen offers. The ships all look wildly different, from a space yacht smooth lines to a hammerhead gunship to an alien fighter with rotating engines. Plus, there's huge variety in the size of the ships, with small fighter craft to massive capital class ships, and even ships that can land inside of other ships. Starfield, on the other hand, manages to create some really fun kit-bashed looking ships, which is very much fitting for the game setting. The ship designs kind of remind me of belter ships from The Expanse, with cargo pods stuck onto the side at random locations, and most of the ships sharing similar design styles. Now, internally on spacecraft, both games offer exquisite detail, with Starfield having more functionality and interactivity with the smaller systems like medical supply bags and workstations, and Star Citizen offering more large-scale functionality like being able to carry ground vehicles, get into turrets, and operate remote salvage beams from a console. Truly, both games offer incredible spaceships, with Starfield winning in the build and tinker category, which counts for a lot, and Star Citizen winning in the variety, custom detail, and large-scale functionality. I have to give the edge to Star Citizen in this regard as I'm generally more impressed with the design and spectacle that they offer. Now, how do the missions and narrative content stack up? Both Star Citizen and Starfield offer a large variety of missions that players can run. Both games have missions that can range from simple job board postings and others that begin with in-person meetings and briefings. However, Starfield is considerably more impressive with its missions being the highlight of basically the whole game. Investigating a coordinate you found on a piece of paper can lead to a base assault, puzzle solving, meeting new characters, tons of voice acting and dialogue, and walking away with massive prizes that will frankly affect the rest of your gameplay experience. Star Citizen, on the other hand, has missions that are often more simple. While they do offer some interesting missions that can involve betrayals and base assaults, they tend to be on the simpler side. Some of the larger missions in the game end up being multiplayer events, and those can involve more voice acting and narrative buildup, yet they still don't come close to the depth and nuance of Starfield. Obviously, due to Star Citizen's multiplayer environment, the mission tools are considerably more limited, but for the sake of an apples to oranges comparison, there you go. What about the planets, the cities and locations, and their scale? Both games offer tons of planets, landing zones, and places to do business. Starfield has way more solar systems, more planets, more moons, and frankly, more points of interest. The game has around a thousand different planets, while Star Citizen only has about four planets so far and a number of moons. However, Star Citizen's planets are physicalized objects in the multiplayer space and are fully simulated, meaning players can seamlessly walk around them and see landmarks and even combat from orbit. A YouTuber by the name of Citizen K actually drove a hover bike around one of them and documented the entire trip. Now, Starfield's planets, on the other hand, are just game levels that use a combination of custom-built assets and procedural generation tech to populate areas. If you run for a while on any map, you'll eventually hit an invisible wall. Both Starfield and Star Citizen offer massive cities on their planet. Starfield has more cities and more characters, shops, and missions and reasons to actually go to them, while Star Citizen boasts more impressive city visuals and scale, but they lack mission purpose, meaningful destinations, and characters to talk to. From a tech standpoint, Star Citizen planets are the clear winner. It's not even close. They can be circumnavigated, have atmospheric layers, rotate realistically, can be landed on without loading screens, flown over, traversed on foot, or driven over with vehicles. However, Starfield has populated their planets with creatures, more bases and landmarks, and actual characters and people to talk to. They make their planets and locations more fun and purposeful, while Star Citizen is more impressive. I'm going to call it a draw with the caveat that Star Citizen will likely win this category in the future if they continue to add more features. 
What about base building, lol? Starfield has base building on planets that ties into a robust resource gathering system which leads to trading and crafting. Star Citizen has many bases but no player base building yet. Although they do plan to have this as a feature at some point and have demoed some of their early tools for doing so, at least for the moment, Starfield clearly wins this category. Now you're not a real space game without spaceship combat. Both of these games offer extensive opportunities to partake in space battles, complete with lasers, missiles, shields, and even boarding. Starfield space combat happens upon you pretty frequently between missions or as part of missions or objectives as you jump around the galaxy. The combat, however, is quite simplistic and arcadey, with the victor usually being whoever just brought the bigger ship to the fight. Star Citizen, on the other hand, has both AI and PvP space combat, including multiple multi-crew experiences with other players. And while learning the nuances of space combat and space flight is much more challenging than Starfield, it offers greater depth, teamwork, and frankly joy when played at higher levels. Smaller ships can often beat larger ships due to player skill and masteries of combat mechanics. Atmospheric flight offers different characteristics on how your ship flies, and frankly you can fight over a planet or over a forest if you want to, where you can't do so in Starfield. And although the boarding in Star Citizen is not exactly what I would call a refined experience, it does happen, and when it does it's always extremely memorable. From an accessibility standpoint, Starfield is the clear victor, but from a depth and skill and fun factor, Star Citizen gets the win for me. What about when it comes down to the gunplay? Both games have a ton of cool guns, with Starfield offering less weapons but more variety through mod ability, and Star Citizen offering tons of weapons with exquisite detail but less interesting modifications. Both games have spectacular weapon animations and modeling. It's honestly hard to pick a victor when it comes to the actual artwork. Star Citizen follows a much more realistic gunplay design with shots going where you aim and a generally pleasing feel to recoil and accuracy where Starfield is a bit more RPG, with guns firing wildly off-center until you rank up specific skills or mod the stats of your weapon. The biggest problem Star Citizen has going against its gunplay is the netcode. Most interactions feel a bit laggy, and it makes it impossible to create a sense of power and reactivity, which is essential for an FPS to feel right. Obviously, Starfield doesn't have this problem as a single player game, and thus the FPS combat is much more enjoyable and interesting. Not to mention the variety of AI combat that you get to enjoy in Starfield is far greater than Star Citizen due to it being intertwined with the vast mission system and narrative content. Starfield gets the win here because, well, you're just going to be engaging in a lot more gunplay and have a lot more variety with it at the moment, despite some of the weird funky RPG mechanics that I don't like as much. Now what about my immersion? Talking about immersion in a video game is basically a meme at this point, but frankly it's a very valid and important topic. Both games offer incredible immersion, but in completely different ways. Starfield creates a universe that has extensive stories, characters, and journeys to go on. Your decisions as a player can change the world around you and even in permanent ways. This creates a real narrative sense of immersion. However, the insane amount of loading screens, cutscene transitions, menu-based space travel, janky camera work, and repeated procedural assets does really hurt the experience quite a lot. Star Citizen, on the other hand, has pursued a truly simulated universe with no loading screens or at least almost no loading screens outside of dying and going to prison. Flying down to the surface of a planet, landing in a city, talking to a vendor, getting back in your ship, and then flying back up into space with no loading at all, flying toward the rings of a planet till you end up in the actual rocks that it's made out of, leaving an item anywhere on a planet for someone else to find it weeks later, seamlessly entering and exiting your ship, EVAing into space and boarding another ship, everything in Star Citizen is built to achieve the most realistic sense of presence, and for that, Star Citizen gets the win from me. When it comes to looting, Starfield makes looting and crafting an essential part of the core experience, and it's no surprise that it just wins this category with ease. Both games offer a looting, and even Star Citizen has a lot of loot variety, but it has a very janky backend system, making it laggy with a lot of lootable items that serve very little purpose. And as much as I don't enjoy the Starfield menu system for transferring items around between your characters and your ship and bases and stuff like that, Star Citizen's is way worse. 
What about the wearable gear in the game, aka spacesuits and armor? Both games offer a huge variety of gear and plenty of ways to customize your look. Star Citizen has extra details like mag indexing and holstering on the outside of your armor, but Starfield has more functionality and purpose to its armor sets with more stats and resistances that will actually affect your gameplay. Aesthetically, I tend to like Star Citizen's suit and armor more, but Starfield has much more purpose and functionality. They even have jump packs, which is something that I wish Star Citizen would do, and it just gives them the win here in that you can equip different stuff and it does different things in the game and that's a cool feature. What about modding, lol? Starfield obviously wins this category with mods already filling up the internet. The modding community is fixing a lot of problem areas of Starfield faster than the devs can do it. Star Citizen modding outside of like trying to get VR headsets to work with the game and some API stuff with tablets just isn't really existent or realistic due to the inherent advantages one could give themselves in an MMO game. But what about multiplayer? Just as Starfield will gain a huge benefit from mods, Star Citizen gains tons of replayability and joy from playing with friends. The lack of co-op even is disappointing in Starfield considering how much fun it seems like it could be to get a friend on your ship and run a mission. You can do that in Star Citizen and the numbers of people that you can bring along are staggering and it's going to be the key to a lot of the game's magic, playing with friends and enjoying the grandeur of the universe together. Now graphics and performance is a bit of a touchy subject for both games. Starfield and Star Citizen both offer amazing visuals and bad performance. Starfield's performance is more consistent, but not impressive, barely eking past 60 FPS on a god tier PC. While Star Citizen tends to fluctuate a lot more, sometimes giving me well over 100 FPS and other times under 30. Now due to the entire simulation nature of Star Citizen, the views can be much more impressive because they aren't just set pieces or a level built around a sunset setting. It's a simulated universe, and if you happen to be in an awesome spot at the right time, it just looks stunning. Star Citizen also has more impressive lighting, shaders, and particle effects. That said, Starfield is no slouch with incredible interior design and interactions, but I think the visual gap between the two games will only widen, as Starfield already seems like it's kind of at the limit of what the creation engine can do, and Star Citizen is on the verge of implementing Vulcan, which should unlock all kinds of new opportunities to further improve the visuals and performance. For the time being, I'm giving the graphics win to Star Citizen with the performance win to Starfield. Now what about the bugs and state of the game? Starfield was touted as Bethesda's least buggy game at launch, which is kind of embarrassing considering that it does actually have a decent amount of bugs in it. But compared to Star Citizen, it's not even close. Starfield is a completed game that has shipped to the masses. Star Citizen is an alpha early access game that, well, has also shipped to the masses, but it's also not trying to be a polished product yet, and that very much shows. The bugs are extensive and often game-breaking. Starfield is the clear winner. Now, of course, there's many other nuanced comparisons that we could do, but I think for the sake of this silly apples to oranges comparison, this will do. Both games are so vastly different. Starfield is now being compared to Cyberpunk more than it is Star Citizen, which makes a lot of sense, since it's much more of a traditional RPG experience. Nonetheless, as a longtime Star Citizen fan, I'm enjoying the heck out of Starfield, and in many ways, it's made me appreciate Star Citizen even more for taking what is undoubtedly a much more difficult path, but a very exciting one. What do you guys think of this comparison? Do you agree with all of my points? Let me know in the comments. And next up, check out my Starfield first impressions video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.